Welcome to another Glow Shift Gauges installation video. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. First, disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Use a 17 millimeter wrench to remove the banjo bolt from the bottom of the fuel filter housing. Be sure to drain the fuel filter housing using a drain pan to catch any leaking fluid. Then use a 17 millimeter socket to remove the banjo bolt from the injection pump and pull the fuel line from the engine. Next, cut the new hose to match the length of the fuel line you removed using the hose cutters. Using the hose cutters, cut the hose line in half. Next, use a push-on fitting tool to install the T-fitting into the cut ends of the line. Although not required, this will make the installation process easier. All fittings can be inserted by hand. Use glass cleaner to lubricate the end of the T-fitting and install it into the cut end of the line. Repeat these steps on the other cut hose line. After you've installed the T-fitting, install a 90-degree fitting into the end of the hose line. Use the glass cleaner again to lubricate each end of the cut line. Repeat these steps on the other cut end with the second 90 degree fitting. Verify that the length of the new line matches the length of the existing line. Next, apply thread sealant to the snubber valve. Then, attach the snubber to the T-fitting using a 17 mm wrench to tighten. The snubber valve is an add-on accessory not included with the Big Line Kit and can be purchased at GlowShipDirect.com. Next, install the fuel pressure sensor onto the T-fitting using a 22 mm wrench to tighten. Thread an AN adapter into the injection pump using a 17 mm socket to tighten. Connect the 90 degree fitting to the AN adapter and tighten using an 18 millimeter wrench. Thread the second day in adapter into the fuel filter housing using a 17 mm wrench to tighten.
Attach the open end of the new line to the AN adapter on the fuel filter housing by using an 18 millimeter wrench to tighten the 90 degree fitting to the AN adapter. Next, connect the fuel pressure harness to the sensor and reconnect the truck's negative battery terminal. Prime the fuel system by cycling the ignition key five times to properly prime the fuel pump. Then start the engine and verify sufficient fuel pressure. Ensure that all of the connections within the big line are secure with no leaks. You've now successfully installed your big line kit into your Dodge Ram Commons. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE and we'll see you on down the road.